Our first guest tonight has enjoyed a storybook career in rap music with multi-platinum albums, Grammy Awards, Diamond Teeth, Prison Time, even some near-death experiences. But he is alive and well, and as Lil as ever, his newest CD is called I Am Not a Human Being 2. Please welcome the unstoppable Lil Wayne. <laughs> I'm great, man. How are you? you know, last year you were scheduled to be here, and then for yeah. some reason you weren't actually here, and then someone at the studio audience came and pretended to be you. And... I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what happened? You there was a scheduling problem of some kind? Um, honestly, I really don't know what happened. You don't know what happened. <laughs> okay. And then you were scheduled to be here in March, but you had a health problem. Yes. And that, are you okay now? I'm great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. May I ask what what happened to you? Because I think we were worried we were worried that you were going to die. Yeah. <laughs> did you know that everyone thought you were going to die? I didn't know that. Yeah. But... We did. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't. <laughs> and we're glad you didn't. But we did Thank think you. you were dying. Yeah. Uh, nah. What happened is uh, I had a few seizures, and um, the one that was very serious was the one that everyone, um, I, I think, were worrying about. Mm -hmm. And that one was serious because uh, my, the house that I was in has upstairs and downstairs. I was upstairs, and my homies were downstairs, and they didn't even know that I was up there season. And one of them just was like, you know, he hadn't came down in a minute, and they came up there. And oh, wow. Who's season. the one who came up and found you? Um, I think it was my homie Tia, my homie Fuke, one of them. You but... should find out which one it was, because... <laughs> I think you owe them now for the rest of your life. And have you taken any steps to make sure that there's a homie on alert at all <laughs> times now? Do you have a... Uh... <laughs> I've taken those steps and a whole bunch of other steps to make sure that everything's perfect. Good, 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 good. Well, good. I'm glad to hear that. You have to be, yeah, because that can be really, it's just something that you can get by, you know, okay, or it can be really terrible. Um, yeah, what it is is that it's a, um... It's just a private uh, medical matter that yeah. I've been dealing with my whole life. Right. And um, we're so used to, I mean, we're used to it happening, so my doctors prepped all my homies, and now they know. Gotcha. And now I would they... love to have been at that meeting. Who was you? <laughs> Who is that? Is, your, is Dr. Dre your physician? Is, <laughs> is he <laughs> in a situation like that? <laughs> Uh, no, but I have I'd a love great to see doctor. the look on the emergency technician's face when you open your mouth to give you a CPR, <laughs> and there's a, a treasure trove in there. 